Guys, welcome back to FTB Skies episode 2. In this episode, we're doing so many things, such as Botania, the Sifters, getting them to Amethyst level, as you can see below me. And then we did Occultism, which was necessary to get Endstone. And yeah, hope you enjoy, guys. Alright, guys, so unfortunately, I don't think we can complete the challenge because everything is against us. Like, for example, the th next thing I want to do is get some mana steel. And to get uh, mana still you need some flowers and you just don't seem to be getting any inside the compacting machine like check this out zero zero now let me show you this we're outside the compacting machine and if i go like this i do get some flowers so to get into botania we need some bone meal and some dye for to be exact to get floral fertilizer and then you just click it on grass and you get the botania flowers then you can turn them into petals and then if you just place them and bone meal them you just uh, duplicate them like a so we already have eight purple petals now i'm going to do that with all the colors and i'll be back well we've got almost all of them i think we're just missing light gray or gray i don't know also uh i'm not sure if it was always like that guys but if you place a flower and just bone meal it it gives you more flowers whichever one you do you still get more flowers all right guys next thing we need is five stone and one petal and we just go like a so the petal goes here and this go so we need six six stone i'm sorry yep and we got a petal apothecary uh, I thought I could waterlock the petal apothecary, but I guess I'm doing something wrong. Anyways, we'll need four white petals or this, white shimmering mushrooms, yeah, and one seed. You just throw them and you get a pure daisy. Pure daisies can be used to turn the normal wood and stone into living stone. There you go. Now we will use some to make some living twigs and I believe we need three, like a so, yeah. And this is how you make a wand of the forest. And here's the living rock. Quick tip guys, if you place a tool like a hammer, this pedestal, instead of making sand, it will make dust. There you go, one dust. There you go. So now we got dust going into a sifter. I mean, yeah, I've got so many resources. I'm, It's Gucci, I like it. So that's basically a fully automated dust sifter. You've got the sandstone on top, a chiseled sandstone, which is made from two slabs, I believe. Yes, sandstone slabs. Then you got the pedestal with the material generator. I've covered some diamonds. They are actually coming in quite nicely. I hope we're going into... Actually, we don't need the chest. Hold on a sec. Yeah, that should do it. If I place the diamond hammer right here. Right. This should uh, do it. Yeah, that's amazing. Now that we have some resource generation, I can actually make some item pipes and make this even better. And what else I did, I moved the gravel one here, the gravel material generator, and now we've got automated dust and gravel sifting. So I'm going to remove these hoppers and I'm going to put uh, item pipes and I guess an iron chest, maybe a gold chest. Right, and I do have some gold. <laughs> I definitely have more. And this is very temporary, guys. Very temporary. Uh, what is this doing? Millstone. I don't even think we need the millstone right now. I'll remove it. All right, guys. I am getting carried away from Botania. Because I love this. We got gravel. We got dust. We got sand into a waterlogged sifter. And then I also created a never brick, which uh, creates neverack. But because I have a hammer here, it does crush neverack. And the side mesh, it gives us some crimson nilium and warp nilium spores an overworld sapling and row yesnium let's just do this for now guys and return to botania this will be full very soon all right guys now that we have some living rock and some living wood we need to make a mana pool i believe the mana pool goes like a so very nice let's place it here and then we go like a so and then i need wait does it go like this no it doesn't how about like a soul yes open crate right and we got a hopper from a reward from a quest reward and then i also forgot guys we need an end of flame now how do we make an end of flame a red petal uh, two brown and one gray yeah like a soul bada bim bada boom and then we just need seed very nice end of flame all right this should work 
Nope, how about if I place this? No, I don't want to place this here. How about if I place it here? Yes, this is perfect. All right, and the final thing we need is a mana spreader. Now, does it go like a so? Yes, it does. We need a petal, gold ingots, and six living wood log. Right, and this should go like a so. Shift right click. Yeah, shift right click. Now this should, oh, maybe shift right click. Yes, yes, yes. Now we get some mana very slowly though. Maybe we should make this into blocks. Yeah, this should work better. All right, not uh, not many. <laughs> Anyways, this will work. Let's put this here as well. All right, and now we need mana steel. Now, how much mana steel do we need to make a mana steel mesh? Oh, just one. That's amazing. All right, guys, I made two more end of flames just to speed up process. We've got the first mana steel, the second one, the third one. Oh, no, that was close. All right, and the fourth one. Very nice. Let's go back inside our compacting machine and let's replace all the meshes. Very nice. Very nice. Mana steel. Ooh, let's place them down. Hey, hey. I don't know, I'm thinking of moving away from the box. Next step, guys. Alright, guys, I removed all this stuff and I moved it here. Now, let's see. I want to place more water wheels and I want to place them... Perfection, perfection. Now, let's get some soul sand. You place it here behind... Yeah, so basically we'll place two water sources. One here and one here. Yes. That's what we're doing. Faction. And now these wheels are, these water wheels are providing full speed, I believe. Now let's connect our sifters. Yeah, I guess here. And this, the gearbox, we will convert into a vertical one. Like so. And a cogwheel right here. Oh, wow, guys, we got certain squirts. That's uh, amazing. That's amazing. All right, guys, progress reports. That's what I've got so far. Um, almost the same setup as before. We just added two more sifters. This will be end stone and this one will be soul sand. Now to get soul sand, to automate soul sand, we need some soul soil. And to get that, the best way I found is actually get, get a create fan. So let's actually do that because we will also need it later. Right, we don't need to make the mechanical press. We can go with the normal hammer, which is amazing, which is amazing. Right, let's do that then. Perfection, we got a shaft, we got an underside casing, and I think that's our fan. Noise. This will work. Now I need some soul sand. Let's get set up like that. I need flint and steel, light this up. I need some dirt, throw it here. Noise. Now that's soul soil. If we place it here, that's going to generate soul sand. <laughs> Very nice. All right, we're just missing endstone. Right, guys, one way of getting endstone is actually the ritual of summoning a possessed endermine of occultism, which needs eggs. Well, we, we have four eggs, but I think if we're lucky enough. <laughs> nice. Okay, well. This guy, he or she, I guess that's a she, will grow into an adult chicken and will lay some eggs for us into this chest, which is amazing. Right, guys, we're almost there. Now, this is just the beginning because we're getting raw materials. And yeah, I'll definitely want to smelt them. Well, the next thing I want to get is some endstone. And I believe we need to get into occultism. Occultism! <laughs> right, we need some white chalk. Uh, for that, we need to throw impure white chalk into the spirit fire. But uh, first, let's throw in some undecide. 10 stacks should be fine. Very nice. Pew, 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 pew. 10 stack of Averstone. Oh no, we need to smelt it. Right. And also other wood ashes. How do we get that? Oh, I see. We need to grow these trees. All right. I got more than a stack. Let's throw it inside. Oops. Oops. It oops. Then throw it inside and we get the ashes. Nice. And we are smelting the Everstone. And we got burnt Everstone. All right. And I think if we go like a so, let's get four of them. Okay. So I guess different colors do different rituals. 
Well, let's get the white chalk. I need an ink sack and a feather. Wait, guys, there's a quest I haven't done. And it gives you an ink sack, just what I need. We just need a fishing rod. Right. <laughs> let's do that. Now, to remember, how do we get string? Um, right, of course, the flux. Noise. Very nice, and here's our ink sack. Perfect, now we just need a feather. Alright, let's kill a few chickens, please. I need a feather. I don't think I got one. That's a shame. And only one egg. Well, alright guys, change of plans as always. We crafted an item collector, quite easy at this stage. And it's also giving us quite a few rewards. Unbreaking 8. Oh my god. Anyways, as you can see, I placed the fishing net here. And I'm just going to replace it with this fishing rod. And I just need an item collector. And then the feather. We are not getting many chicken eggs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going for a mob fan, which needs some redstone. We definitely have enough. Perfect. And then let's get some dirt. And then I think I'm going to make a mob masher, which we can afford. Well, this should work. We just need to place the golden egg here noise that is oh my god let's turn on the fan oh jesus is it killing right oh nice 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 we got the feathers oh my god energetic sheep that's amazing let's turn this off let those guys leave let's turn off this guy pick up the loot we got two feathers that is actually not enough i'm sorry chicken four feathers that is perfect that is perfection and guys, we were also lucky we got one letter, some paper, fiction, a book. All right, guys, uh, I thought I was recording, but I did not. So I've done this quest. I've done the book of binding, Foliot. And I guess Foliot means uh, monster, minion, I don't know, something like that. Then you got the sacrificial bowls, which is our stone, which we made by throwing stone into the spirit fire. Here you go. And you just need five of them to get one bowl, like a soul. And then you need eight gold to make it into a golden sacrificial bowl i won't waste my gold right now and then we also made the butcher knife which is three sticks and two iron ingots and it gives us four tallow and combining the four uh, the tallow with string you get white candles and yeah you needed them to progress further and now we need to find the thingamabob the ritual that summons the possessed endermind all right guys let's see so we need a small area very nice now in the center or i guess we first have to draw an area i'm a noob i'm sorry this is the center where's my chop all right i guess we'll go like a so noise golden sacrificial ball here then candles here 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 and here then sacrificial balls anywhere within this circle right then i need two stone two dirt i need to combine the book of binding polio with the dictionary of spirits we place that here missing items what have i done wait what all right guys yes i'm being a noob so this one let me show you this one so on top it writes the type of ritual you need and this is where i have been mistaken this is the very first one and it's only used for the foliot crashel lumberjack transporter janitor and averstone trader and we don't need that right now maybe the crusher maybe the crusher so maybe i need that because i need to crush some gold right let me summon the crusher all right guys let's see i've got the materials raw silver raw iron raw copper raw gold and then the book of binding started summoning foliot or crusher okay it did something huh? <gasps> hello oh my god he's crushing the ores guys oh my god that's a cute one hello <laughs> hello can i talk to you oh my god crash door nice is he pooping out the ores so how long are you gonna stay here nice. can you do this as well and this and this not that we need it right guys and now this we can use to make the other type of chalk we need we just combine that that and that to get this and we just throw it into the spirit fire oh come on search failing every time and we get a golden chalk nice now let's get outside now we need to draw where is it there it is 
We need more candles. Oh no. Well, it has to be done, guys. It has to be done. Just look away. All right, guys. This guy, I don't know. Is he gonna stay here forever? Right. So I did get some tallow and um, gold choo choo spawn egg. What the? What's a choo choo, guys? <laughs> what the hell is a choo choo? Gold choo choo, green choo choo. All right. I have no idea what that is. Right. I need, I guess I need to wipe this out. So let me bring my brush. All right. So we go like a so. And of course. Oh, guys. Oh my God. Do you know why I had a diamond block here? Because a fairy can come and convert this guy into a budding amethyst. Oh my God. Thank you. That's this quest, guys. That's this quest. This. If you're lucky, a fairy might spawn and convert a nearby diamond block into budding amethyst. Uh, can I pick this up? Uh, I don't want to try. I don't want to try. All right. Let's remove the wood underneath so it grows in all directions and yeah that's uh, amazing guys that's good news all right guys let's see so we need to go like a so then this will actually help me because it goes yes 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 like a so and then candles perfect and I think that's it. Then we need another one of those. I just made it. And two stone, two dirt. The book. Perfect. I'm guessing this guy is going to drop one end stone. And we need four of them. One to two. So we need to find to summon. So we need to summon this guy at least two to four times. Well then to get an end stone brick. Let's see guys. Oh, there you go. Nice. Two and stone. We just need two more. All right, guys, I just killed one more and we got two more and stone, which is amazing because we can go ahead and make and stone bricks, which means we automate and stone production, which is amazing, which is amazing. All right, let's place this right here. Yeah. So this should be producing. Yes, crashed and stone and the hopper. To go over that perfection and we need one extra drawer for the ender pearls noise ender pearls oh guys 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 i caught it on camera well almost i'm placing down uh blocks of diamond and i just got a fairy spawn or i don't know if they spawn if they come it was just text and yay I have another body in Amethyst now, which is amazing. Guys, one more thing I want to make in this episode is a time in a bottle, which will assist us further down the line. Can do that. Perfection. And there you go. Time in a bottle. Right, guys, our first Amethyst cluster. Yeah, we'll just break it. Oh my God, we got it. We got four. All right, guys. Well, I've got uh, two more clusters, so we can make three three meshes three amethyst meshes which is amazing right let's do that we'll need some sticks do we have sticks i've got two on me and we'll make more perfection very nice very nice and we just place them here perfection now how do we get a budding amethyst i don't know i have no idea like, I think the thing breaks, right? When you pick it up. Oh, there are guys. So apparently you can just pick this up. Like a so. I thought they would break, but they didn't. So we've got two more out of quest rewards. We also got an awesome sword. That is absolutely amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Anyways, and this abiding shrine. I assume it produces amethyst uh, as well, but I'm not sure how because it says I it consumes earth. Anyways, all right, guys, I think that's it for today's episode. We did all that. We did all the sifting and we got the amethyst meshes, which is amazing. That's amazing. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the episode and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye.